Hello everybody, my name is Migos Kimsage and welcome back to The Walking Dead. I'm your host Migos Kimsage and today is the start of us playing episode uh, 2. Because we've just finished episode 1. We're gonna play episode 2, Starve for Help. Which is basically us uh, running out of food, I think. I think that's the, the plot. We haven't played it yet and here we are, so we are playing it. So yeah, um... Oh, it's that narrator again. I know who you are. Previously on The Walking Dead, the AMC is The Walking Dead. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. That reporter was Doug, yes. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. And that guy sucks. kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, your I'm gonna ass. kill that guy. Hopefully, I'm able to kill that guy. Sacrifice him. Yes, yes, I know. I I now know how to play a Telltale game. After this, if, if in the summer sale, ah, uh, sorry, in the winter sale, I might buy another Telltale game. Game. Uh, whether it's Batman or. Eps uh, the sequel to this, I guess. The season two. <laughs> A zombie? Three months later. Yeah. Ah, so this is what happens three months later. We kill people. It's nice. Hi. Who are you? Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. I don't think that's safe to well, eat. That's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be. That's that's the fat guy. Me, I have no Holy rabbits. shit! Uh, it's Doug. Mark, that's Doug. It. What happened, happened to him, man? No kidding. He's no longer fat. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just oh, eating types never mind. of pot. I thought he was Doug. He's driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. Who's this the guy then? The guy is a sniper. Who is he? I would love to yeah, use that sniper. Right. Right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting it out. I worry about Clementine too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the moment. Mm, the problem of lack of food. You why know, don't Kenny's they farm? Talking about uh, taking they don't have seeds. That right? RV they don't have tree seeds. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Man. He's a good Can't man. Can't blame him though. He's a good man. Kenny's a good man. going off on him last night. What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, I want to kill that guy. Bird. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. True. The way Lily I agree. About his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming. I, again, I shouldn't have gave him and this. No, th those pills. He's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. He's a walking. Oh, uh, he's the Walking Dead itself because he's gonna die if he doesn't take time? those pills. Knock me flat. Shoot the bird. Shoot the bird in the head. Shoot the bird. Yes, 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 yes. Shoot the bird. Shoot the bird. He's gonna shoot the bird. Don't. That shadow bring walkers. The bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. That was Kenny. That's surely Kenny. 
Kenny! Kenny! Where's Kenny? Kenny! Kenny! There he is! Oh, damn. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, are you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided the camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Please, fuck up. We've gotta help. Please. Then shut up. The My dad was started. special forces. I know what I'm doing. The Just see started. if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, oh. 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 this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. More zombies. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, oh, this is God, bad. I can't die. Just get me out, please. Oh, that blood scream. Do something. Do something. Do something. Please, get me out of this. There has to be a way out of this. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. Fuck. This is so Chop the legs. Chop the legs. Oh, God, let's go, let's go! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Hey, it has to be now! Ah! Yeah, it's good, but he's gonna lose a lot of blood. You're gonna need to cover it, cover it, man. Heal. He passed out. You need to stop the bleeding. It's bleeding. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. You need to stop the bleeding on the. You need to ambulate. Go! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh. Run! What are you doing? Oh, you stupidity. The stupidity. No. The stupidity. Welcome to The Walking Dead, folks. AKA the stupidity of people and also the, the, the heartless of people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this guy again. Nice for beta mass food for the zombies here. Yeah. Damn. It's been a while. Clementine has new clothes. Where did we get the guns? The sniper rifle. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are Don't have time to explain! Lee, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? 
You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any Question mark? for you. Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Yeah. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. Because we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Again, why can I not kill him? Why can I not show him? Hello, dog. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. And nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. I have to give the food? Ah, oh. Four items for ten hungry people. Okay, well, first we have to prioritize Clementine. Uh, the kids. The kids! Ah! The kids! Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Okay, give it to Mark. Here, eat something. You got your nap. Wow. Thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Remember that? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Sure. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Well. Here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You Shut up, Larry. You give me the axe. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't I'll care what you. it is, but you two have got to stop yeah, trying to get Yeah, that fucking skinny the nose of yours can I get damaged and blooded everywhere. my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Give me the axe, Mark. Give me the axe. I'm gonna execute him in front of everyone. For fuck's sake. Okay, um, we have Doug and then the kids. The fucking kids. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. What did you have? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. 
Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we gonna get some food? Alright. I'll I'll come back. I'll give I'll give Doug some uh I would give it to to the veterinarian, but Hey Doug. <coughs> What's up, Lee? Well suppose I could interest you in some food. I'll give you the piece of jerky. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Curly, but I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. All right. Hey, if Doughboy doesn't want his food, hand it this way. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. Yeah, fuck you. Well, decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Oh, I do, and I really want to piss you off so that you come and get me, and I'll come and get you. Fucker. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna give it to the veterinarian and Doc. Um, Doc. Uh, should I give it to Ben? Uh. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? I'll give you the crackers Here. and cheese. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Last one. Oh. Ooh, that's a hard decision. Keep the last piece of your food for yourself, or save the last piece. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'll give it to her. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Blake, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go okay. ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Where is uh, your your where's your uh, husband? Oh, should I give it to Ben? I'm gonna give it to. Uh, Hmm. Uh, ben? Or to Kenny? I'll give it to Kenny. If he accepts it. If it not, I'll give it to Ben. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said no, it was worse. easy. I just, I just had to choose. I, I had to do a priority. So children had to, to be priority yourself. first. Then oh, those who are important, and then miscellaneous, and hey, then not important. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my Especially food? Him. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Maybe you need to start to talk, old man. treating me right now. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. The contribu- your only contribution is the wall. What are you, Trump? You ain't Kenny, doing shit. Hey, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... 
Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Is he dead? That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Fucking ah! zombie! He was bitten! What is happening? What? I lost my head? Whoa, that's a bug. Surely that's a bug. That's a bug. Did not give me any instruction. I got him. Good damn it. He's dead. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. I shouldn't have. I should have asked he if he was what? bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten. I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It is the bite. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Oh god, there's some people. Doug, it works. Of course it works. It's Doug. Of course it works. Where did this thing come from? Well, that's where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. If they're friendly, we don't want to hurt them. They're not part of your group, are they? No. Mr. Parker, Travis, and I were the last... The last ones. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. Jenny! That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. Uh, for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh... I think you got the upper hand here. Mm, what do you need gas for? Shoot him. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, 
We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. This is a trap, no? Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. We can prove the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Sounds like a so, genuine dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. You might give me some ideas for Doug, I think, is my favorite character in here. Doug is just W. Doug is the definition of great greatness. The fence has enough juice. Yeah, seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Go for some turkey. Ugh, Isn't that cannibalism? That you kill, even if they're zombies, they're <laughs> humans. And if you tree. kill humans, Sorry. that's cannibalism. <laughs> Eat humans. Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of junk. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Kitty's a guy who really keeps a group together. <laughs> Don't let Lily hear you say that. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra. Again, this hang. feels like a trap. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. You it's... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. There's the raiders. There's the raiders. That's it. Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot! 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 shoot. Shoot! Just shoot! They have. Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered or something, man. Mate, if they raided your base, just shoot them back. It's like it's like Russ. It's Garry's mod. It's KOS. Oh shit! Kill him! Fuck you! Fuck you! Shit! That one's gonna turn into a zombie. World out here. There really is an anarchy here. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. See if that guy has some shit. No? <sighs> All right. Here we are. Here it is. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing, with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? 
Kidding's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor end will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Ate fresh this morning. Holy moly! We need bro. Sorry. Bro does not like the ration. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Mm -hmm. Our vet. prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. All right. Bye, Doug. Stay safe. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. All right. This place is incredible. It it's is. Food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Mm. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. I'm a little hungry myself, to be honest with you. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the sea. With some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright. There's a saw there, mate. Mate, there's a saw. There's a saw there. There's a saw there. Yes, there is. Good ma murder what weapon. If I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Alright. God damn. God damn. Hey. I just need some rope. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. 
I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Mm -hmm. Been stockpiling, huh? We scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Hmm. Like us? We can't be the first people who can bind up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food. Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I need some rope. The board is good, but I need some rope. Where can I find some rope? I wonder why. Rope. There it is. This rope is perfect for the swing. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Hmm. This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Amen. Mama, she was done after death. They're not fearing Mama that gonorrhea, baby. Well. Let's go. They'll then be, one day, be the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Mm. I'm starting to believe. No spoilers, but I haven't read, read the uh, anything about it oh, yeah. All right, let's go fix the swing and then we'll fix the parameter all right this shouldn't be too tough now I'll be damned mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up hopefully our kids will like it too did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did the swing is fixed. Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Mm. It seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, a long time ago. Alright. Let's fix the perimeter. Hold on, let's talk, talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Wonder how much food they got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Use gate? Ooh. Domain expansion. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. 
Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Vince will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the Let's fix the perimeter. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Mm -hmm. Stay attentive. You never know. Alright. Bro. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Yeah, Larry's a piece of shit. Ooh, damn. There's one. Where's there a boat? Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Dead zombie. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. That fence is broken. Burned right into his hands. I think they fused together. Hold on, I want to chop it. Yeah. Yeah. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Nope. Christ. You can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids. But I gave the kids some eat. food, man. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Turn the fence on. He knows we're out here. Shit! Raiders! Right the... Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Shit! There they are, the Raiders. Who the fuck is that? No idea! Well, I ain't got any mark! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Wait, 
back here. Pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Pull it. Where the hell did they get? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A lot. in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god. Shit, what why did you go? shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least like one ninjas, of their camps mate. are. I don't know when if you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What True. we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's... Real charming, Dad. Yeah, real charming. Asshole. Where's been a duck? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here. And someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, 
Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Welcome, Clementine. Okay, I think we're gonna end the episode here for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!